you know, what's gonna happen because two years of continuously, you know, having yeah. to meet up with your ex. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like before, dude, I was able to do anything and I didn't really, it didn't matter because I wouldn't get like called out. What's up, you guys? It's Pal and I am here with... Nat. And today we are gonna be getting ready. We're going to a premiere and yeah, we're just gonna have girl time, guys. Girl talk. Yep. Ask you guys on Instagram to ask us some questions. So we're gonna go through those. If you're watching us, guys, do your makeup with us or eat a snack while you're watching this. Like, you know, you guys need to feel comfortable. Like you're here with this. us yeah. during this conversation. Exactly. I literally packed my entire closet. I'm talking <laughs> makeup bag, skincare bag. She brought a huge dresses. bag, you guys. Yeah, she brought options. This is a big deal. We are going to the premiere of the new season of El Señor de los Cielos. So, and if you, you know, mm -hmm. you freaking know. I've been talking about him since like Rafael the Maya? Yeah, girl. <laughs> he's my so fine. Have you seen him in person? I saw him and I didn't get to meet him. But this time, you know what? Let's make that our goal yes. to meet him. Yes, okay, we yeah. will get a picture. Okay, yes, yeah. we're gonna get a picture. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, we're putting it out in the air right now. This is like my life goal right now. Last time, babe, I got so shy. I was really? like, Fuck. but also he was doing a lot of press. Oh. So it was hard to get him. Why they like attacking with cameras and stuff? Yes, bro, like bad. So I was like, oh, you know. Yeah. Well, maybe this time will be different. This is like a, mm -hmm. a, a moment in my career, okay? This is a big. This is making the main Instagram feed. This is oh gonna be the God. main picture. <laughs> the this first is the one. one. Yeah. yeah. Did you watch the last um, season? No, that's the only one I haven't seen mm -hmm. because I don't have TV anymore. Mm -hmm. You don't watch TV? No, I just really? watch. Really? Like, I don't really watch TV either. How do you even watch TV? Do you get a big ass antenna? Like, I don't know how... Oh, wait, you don't, so you don't have a TV at all? No, I have a TV, but how do you watch TV? Like, you know how for oh. growing up, like, there's channels and stuff? <laughs> like, this girl! You have to get cable. I don't have cable. Oh! <laughs> I remember growing up, we had, like, channels and stuff, and, like, I remember my mom saying, like, oh, I got more channels or whatever. Mm -hmm. But I don't know how you, like... I just know Netflix. With cable, but I don't have that either. I just have like Netflix, Hulu, like Hulu yeah. all of those little streaming platforms. Yeah. So you have to get a certain kind of like system. Like, what do you mm -hmm. get that through? Like Verizon? I stuff? think it's, yeah, I think it's through like the same one that you get your Wi Fi through. You guys, if you're watching this, do you have cable? Like, do you use, do you buy cable? Being like leaking. <gasps> oh no. What the hell? <laughs> Is that a primer? Yeah. <laughs> See, you know a lot about makeup. That's another mm -hmm. thing. Like, I don't. I can carry my entire life of makeup in this bag. Mm -hmm. Like I don't, I don't know about. Like I don't do my makeup. Like I don't know. I just don't. What? Don't yeah. you do your makeup all the time? Girl, I'll show you what I use. Too Faced skin tint, blush, and concealer. That's it. Really? That's it. Oh. Simple gal. It's just because I don't know how. I would love to learn. <gasps> James Charles, if you're watching Shoot. this, please do my makeup. <laughs> Love to. Dude, I feel like he would love to do your makeup. I'm so. not gonna lie. You should message him. <laughs> you should. I'd be flattered because yeah, I don't know about makeup like that, but oh I would love gosh, to. Oh my gosh, and I thought you did because <gasps> when I see your videos, like your little transition videos when you do like on TikTok. Oh. <laughs> and when you get all like dressed up, I've seen those and it looks like you have like a full face. No, girl, it's really just foundation and like <gasps> the blush and the powder. But oh my goodness. But yeah, I'm a faker for sure. <laughs> I'm a faker. I did a chemical peel on Wednesday, so I'm still peeling. Oh, so I'm trying to like okay. take off the scabby so mm -hmm. it doesn't look feel so bad. Mm -hmm. But this is a big deal because this feed, this picture is gonna be like the first on the feed. <laughs> <laughs> my man, you guys. That's my celebrity crush. <laughs> it's crazy because Jake literally wished me luck before I left. Really? Because he knows like that this is my celebrity Aww. crush, and he was like, "Oh my, like I hope you meet him." And it's crazy, like Jake. Oh, that's cute. Jake's a star. Yeah, that's really Jake's cute. A star. He's a good man, Savannah. He's a good man. <laughs> I hope I got all the scabbies off. <clears throat> Also, if you need anything, let me know. Yeah, do you have an extra mirror? Yes. I have a, I think I have a bigger one in here. <laughs> She's just opening her PR. Slay. <laughs> My first time seeing Pao in like... In years, you guys. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. But I feel like we always will like randomly like to ask each other for... Yeah, I know, for something. <laughs> like I'll randomly ask her like... what Like last time I asked her what camera she used and then we talk. We just asked each other for help from here, time to time. What do you <laughs> this mean? Is random stuff. This is so nice, you have a vanity. Like, I forgot what it's like to like, have a vanity and like get ready. It's nice, this is my first time having a vanity actually. <gasps> You've never had I've it? never had a vanity Where before. Where would you do your makeup, that's true? Um, yeah. I used to have one, but I had to give it up because um, we didn't have space at the house. Um, 
Do you just do your in the bathroom? Just in the bathroom. <laughs> but it's mirror. okay. I grew up doing my makeup in the bathroom too. Yeah, it's, and I have the little mirror, so it's not that big of a deal. This just not makes someone me say, do you ever think you'll get back with your exes? <gasps> no. I'm like, what do you mean? What's your biggest ick? In like people or? Yeah, let's say like in people in general. I'm trying to think. I thought about a good one last time and I forgot. An ick? I like this question. It's a good question. It's a good question and I can't think of an answer for this. Yeah, me either. Oh, I know mine. Okay, tell me. Mine is kind of like people that are, they act incompetent. That's my okay. biggest ick. Like when someone can do something, but they just choose to not. <gasps> Wait, that's like a really, really good one. I had a friend one time and I don't know why, like it wasn't a big deal, but it would get on my nerves. <laughs> Anywhere we went, I had to... I had to do everything like I had to open every door I had to press every elevator button even if she was like right in front of it like she wouldn't be the one to first press it like you know like but every time you know because obviously sometimes you get it sometimes yeah. I get it like that's how it normally is with people right yeah <laughs> but no it was like every single time like I had to do everything wait that's valid I can see like, how that's a huge ache. It gets annoying, dude. Yeah. After some time, you're like, dude, like, are you gonna <laughs> press the button? Like, you're right in front of it. Totally see how that's an ache. I think that would be mm -hmm. an ache for me too. Yeah, that, that would definitely rub me the wrong way. That happens so often, though. I and hate it. I think it has a lot to do with, like, because your personality is very, like, nice and, like, team leader. Yeah. I feel like I'm giving. Yeah. Like, I'm a giving person. But when people just like expect you to do everything, like yeah. I'm always gonna try to go out of my way for my friends and try to, you know, to accommodate, to make people yeah. comfortable, accommodate, and everything. But I think it kind of feels like you get taken advantage of yeah. when they do that. So yeah, that would be my ick. Oh my god, that's such a good ick. <laughs> that's the biggest thing, I think, when people act like that. You could say the same one. That could be your ick. Yeah, thing. that could be an ick for me too. We're just gonna leave it at that. <laughs> Next question. Next question. Oh. I need to ask you some advice okay. from a third person perspective. Okay. You guys, this right here is the advice that I need in my life because everybody's making fun of me for co parenting my dog. And you guys know Nat. Nat has dogs. Well, if you don't know Nat, now you know. And she has dogs. Those are my babies. And so I want to hear your thoughts about co parenting. Like, what, what do you think? What would you do in my position? You know? Okay. I, whenever I see your comments, mm -hmm. it gets like a different kind of anger in me because people are like, it's just a dog, be for real. Like, co parent, like, you all clearly still want to see each other. Like, mm -hmm. your comments are just that when it's co parent. Girl, dog. yes. In those particular videos. And it like really rubs me the wrong way because if you have a dog, you know it's not just the dog. Like, it's a lot. Like, yeah. that's like a human right there. It's it, literally, it's a, a baby. They depend on you for everything. Like, a dog. Mm -hmm. depends on you for everything like it, it truly is like you are a parent to this being yeah and i feel like people are just very used to kind of like dogs just being like oh it's just a dog but it really isn't it's way more serious than that and you're a really good dog owner that's thank why you. i'm asking you thank yeah thank you i feel like honestly i give you the biggest props because i don't you. know <laughs> if i could ever let go of my dogs Girl, and i know you're yeah. in that position right now where like it's getting to that point it's been two years right Almost two years. It's been like a year and a half. And you, so you're getting to that point now where it's like, you know, what's going to happen? Because two years of continuously, you know, having yeah. to meet up with your ex. <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? Probably not the funnest thing in the world. <laughs> so it, I feel like it's, it's very that point. interesting. I feel like for me, it would break my heart. Mm -hmm. But I think we, I would figure out a system like instead of doing it like every other week, mm -hmm. maybe like months at a time type mm. thing but then that's hard because now you're taking the dog out of what they're used to and bringing yeah. them to a new environment every single time so it's like at that point you're putting your feelings first rather oh, than the true. dogs so it's tough it's a really tough situation and honestly i think i i would co-parent my dogs for the rest of my life really no i don't think jake would let go of the dogs either no i think we would fight forever because i feel like if i were to go and say hey like I only want to take care of him. I feel like he wouldn't like be like. He would let you keep. I feel like it. I don't know. <laughs> him watching this. So like, I know. Like, uh, he's like, don't try that shit. Really? 
I don't know. I think Jake would fight me on it. Really? Yeah, because we're both very, like, those are our kids. Like, dude, you don't understand, like, Dude, kids. no, I feel that because, <laughs> so, Woody got lost. I don't know if you, you did. Yeah, I reposted yes, it for yes, you, yeah. I know, you did, you yeah. did. Thank you for that. Yeah. Um, so, when that happened, like, literally, it felt like a child. Yeah. Oh, you know, there was a study that, um, so for people that own dogs that don't own don't own kids that don't have kids <laughs> um the same parts of their brain light up just like the way that people that have kids light up when they think about their kids okay well i knew that well, i knew that the dog part probably felt something like kids but now you saying this is crazy because mm -hmm. wow mm -hmm. so it's bro it, it goes really is that serious like I, I kid you not when i got a phone call saying that woody was missing mm -hmm. i kid you not i broke down like Ooh. i my world collapsed it's not even a joke dude bro i figured because when i saw that i was like, it, I'm like like my heart dropped like girl picture me i was at mastro's for my sister's birthday i get a call not mastro's <laughs> thinking about this i get a freaking call and saying that woody is missing i'm in the bathroom i start crying literally the whole dinner i'm just sitting there sobbing mm. like just thinking about all the possibilities i'm over here imagining him getting picked up by a freaking owl or something like <laughs> girl <laughs> not an owl i was so heartbroken like i have not felt but you know what? I'm happy that I felt that because I didn't even know that I was capable of feeling that. Yeah. Like, of feeling that much pain for someone. Like, yeah. So does that scare you to let go of Woody? Or is it different because you know he'd I, be okay? I think it's different because knowing that he would be okay would make it okay for me. Obviously, I was still missing And also, him. you're two years, almost two years in, right? For me, it's mm -hmm. like I'm saying this as a theoretical, like I live with my babies right now and like when I leave them, I just, my heart just hurts and it sinks because I'm very fresh on, but yeah, because you're a little bit further off, already like going sometimes like weeks without seeing him, mm -hmm. you're a little more like trained to not be with him for a while. Yeah, for so sure. So for me, I'm not to like the thought of not, it just like, it's yeah. like my world crashing. So I give like both of you guys the biggest props for that because Thank I don't, you. dude, it's so hard. Like I don't it's know. It's hard and it's a hard choice. Like people don't understand it. Guys, if you're watching this and you're thinking about getting a dog, just know it's, it's a lot. Like the time and the freaking vet visits, all those, did you get, um, uh, the doggy blue? I think that's what it's called. Dude, I wanted to return my dogs that same second. I was really? crying every day. Like, dude, it was horrible. Like because of the pressure you felt, yes, right? Yes, dude, it was like a whole me life too. on me. It was me like too. a baby. Me too. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. I the wanted... same thing happened to me. Dude, I told Jake, I was like, Jake, we need to return it. I don't want it. Like it's too much. Like mm -hmm. I, yeah, it was bad. It lasted for like a good, like two months, dude. It lasted for me like a whole month. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, that's crazy. Yeah. Maybe that is like a indicator of how much, how good you're going to take care of your dog. Like if you went through that, you, it means you're actually going to like. Because you take it serious. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. Asking, how did we meet? How did we meet? You, you reached out to me. I think so, yeah. This was like three years ago or like four. I don't know. Yeah, it's been a while. You were like one of the first like influencers who like followed me and like reached out yeah i think and you we were like the out. first mm -hmm. yeah because i liked watching your videos and I was really like, oh my gosh, yeah i remember when you followed me and i remember being like oh my gosh like, she's famous <laughs> but i never i still to this day don't see myself as like i see other people with like the same amount of followers and mm -hmm. i think they're like <gasps> you know mm -hmm. and i remember being like you. Oh my gosh, like she follows me. I remember I followed you back and mm -hmm. hung out. And then we spontaneously went to a Mexico trip. After I know, that, that dude was crazy. Yeah. Like thinking back on that. You know what I was thinking about the other day? Mm -hmm. The weird, weird guys at the freaking zip line, dude. Girl. I thinking about it and I was like, how did we like live through that? How did we not get kidnapped? If you didn't know, we went to Los Cabos like two years ago. We went zip lining. Oh, I remember back then I even did a story time on this. <gasps> did you? Yeah, I, those guys do. Like they, there was just, they were just weird. Dude, the bad. men were weird, you guys. They were saying a lot of inappropriate, like, little comments and jokes. And I think you got the worst of it because it was you and Britt, I think, that got the worst of it. Because, well, this doesn't make it right, but we were wearing just, like, a bra. Um, it was hot. Like, a swimsuit. It was so hot, dude. It was dude. super hot. And it was Mexico, Cabo. It was hot. And, yeah, like, we were on vacation, you yeah. know? So it wasn't, like, an inappropriate. I don't think it was an inappropriate... 
thing. Well, but... I was wearing overalls, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, damn, we maybe should. No, I went um zip lining again, and I put on like a big shirt because I was like, I'm not doing. And this. you guys were always very like, I got a boob job, you know, like I never, I didn't have boobs at the time, like mm -hmm. I didn't have a butt. Britt had just got her. Dude, Britt was fresh off the yeah. freaking post op table. Like yeah. her boobies looked nice. Like these, I don't even know mm -hmm. how she did that. Cause thinking back, like actually, I'm like, was that allowed to go zip line? I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, you guys, I remember you guys got the worst of it, but it was really, really bad. Like I remember, yes, bro. Like after that, I was like really, really like traumatized in Mexico because I was scared because if this is what they did at an excursion place that had like the best reviews. Like, what were they going to do on every other thing? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. What We did, we did something I think else. they were just very weird. We did the... We went on a clear boat. That's and the other girl, thing. Oh, my gosh. Tell me why I accidentally, like, drugged everyone. Because <laughs> I was like, you guys, I have I these pills that are super good for motion sickness. <laughs> and, it, <laughs> and it was drama mine. Dude, everyone was just like... On the freaking And mouth. I forgot it was in the non-drowsy ones. Their drama mine <laughs> makes you very like sleepy and very drowsy. And girl, yeah, that was us on the boat. Everyone was just sitting like staring at nothing. Like <laughs> literally, <laughs> literally about to pass out on this excursion that we booked. And oh, then man. when I realized, I was like, oh, I was like, wait, does anyone feel tired? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that excursion literally, we just sat there and just like. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god it was a whole thing dude and i remember like i was really scared because so we were out there alone it was like a girl's trip and after the whole thing that happened with the zip lines like i was kind of like a little bit scared of mm -hmm. being out alone or just being out like us girls In because general. if this happened there like i wonder what could have happened like everywhere out here alone you know like you, you just never know so i ended up taking a trip by myself and i to did cabo? an excursion not to cabo oh to Puerto Vallarta. Okay. How was that? And I also did an excursion zip lining, dude, but it was a way better experience. It was just a like every, Yeah. But I also did have a big shirt on. I think that makes a big difference because, yeah. like, although it's, like, messed it's sad, up. It's but, you know. It's messed up and it's not right at all. Mm -hmm. Like, these men were, like, in their, four, like, late 30s, 40s. Right? We saw, like, a group of girls in bikini tops mm -hmm. and we're just, like. Sad that it has to be like that, but. Yeah. I wanted to ask you, do you notice like men be more sexualized to you? Not sexual, dude. sexualize you more now? Oh my god, dude, the shit that I've been through. Girl. Dude, I, it's crazy because I would always like talk, like hear, you know, thick girls about how like, mm -hmm. you know, men are just weird and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I had never lived it. And I have lived, on it. not that I regret my BBL because uh -huh. I don't. And it's like before, dude, I was able to do anything and I didn't really, it didn't matter because I wouldn't get like called at, hollered at. Like mm -hmm. now, it's like <gasps> night and day. Is it like everywhere you go? Everywhere I go. It's oh really, really bad. And like the saddest part is that I wouldn't get hit on like that before. So mm -hmm. why is it that now I am? Because it comes down to body and looks and it's just like a shitty situation. Yeah. Is it, it like um to the point that it's, you don't feel safe like going out on Oh, your I own? don't. I don't at all like Damn, dude. whenever he leaves like it's just it's just harder yeah it's harder and it sucks because it, it like it shouldn't be that way but it dude, is dude it's horrible and you've always been thick so you've like dealt with this like your whole life i would imagine right? but i feel like you probably have it worse because i feel like my butt is big but it's not that big and you have Pretty a really thick. big butt <laughs> Thing. It's like things that happen and I'll tell you if that happens to me as well You know like when cars will drive by and like oh honk my God, dude. and like look uh. Uh, Like scream something out of the car just random bullshit like you like Lululemon is kind of like my Worst place to go to because really? yeah, dude because that's like, where you went in your video that yes, you posted it, right? Dude, that yes. was really bad like he wouldn't leave me alone oh, Jake man. pulled up and then we were like I was we were kind of not chasing him But I was driving around trying to find him and he was hiding from us uh -huh. because he knew like as soon as I um Got in my car. He like tried to like run away and like kind of hide and I followed in my car and He would see my car dude. And he would run into random ass stores like he knew what Ew. he was doing Which makes you more guilty, right? Because why are you trying to hide? Yeah, now? yeah, exactly. obviously and he did he followed me for like three stores Oh, hell no. It was so bad and when I would look at him he would turn around fast. That oh, wasn't the first time scary. that happened at Lulu. It happened like three times. Like the same thing. It was different Always guys. at Lulu? Always at Lulu. I think they scope out Lulu. <gasps> I think that they, like they do predators? shit. Yeah. No, like, like I think that they try to like get girls there. <gasps> because like one of the times it was like a really old guy. Like he was probably like in his 40s. Uh-huh. 
and um yeah he was following me and he was on the phone the whole time <gasps> um, be careful if you ever go to lulu <laughs> yeah please. no Oh yeah, dude, it's bad and it's crazy because I never, these are things that I never knew. Like, I'd always just be like, oh, you guys are like thick, like haha, -ha, like poor you, you know, like that kind of situation. <laughs> but I'm like, no, like you guys have really been dealing with. Dude, the car thing? Stuff. Yeah, like that always fucking happens. Shit's annoying. <laughs> or I hate, like I did start dressing a little bit, like wear a little bit less tight clothes sometimes. Because I love that. I saw your video on that. I love that. Dude, and it's because it got to the point where, like, it was just annoying. I would go out. It's weird and gross. Like, they would call me gorgeous, and they didn't even see my face. Like, they would see me, like, walking the dog. They're like, you're so gorgeous. Mm -hmm. I'm like, what the hell? Like, like you, you didn't even look me. at me. Yeah. You just did your entire eyeshadow, huh? In, like, one second. <laughs> I love that. Dude, it's so easy. Shadow. Literally, just get a little brown color. Just put it right here like literally like just like that mm -hmm. and then just take sparkle and put it in the <laughs> inner part like that's it and you don't wear lashes and look so good i haven't put lashes on are you gonna put smart? you I? look so good i think i'm going to but i don't know you look so good already. thank you i nice. love bow stuff i saw you posted your bodice <laughs> stuff i was like i need to learn from this like i really wait do. what did you see like i saw that you posted like i'm trying to dress more modest it was like a long shirt and like the long leggings mm -hmm. and i just I love it. I love I do it. want to start dressing more modest. It's because I feel like it, it is true that people treat you differently. Mm -hmm. You know? It's so sad, Ted. And it's, but it's sad. True. It is sad. Like, it shouldn't be this way. How do you even grow confidence? You're, like, the one to talk about this. Dude, it's... I think you just have to find... You just have to find a way to not, like, care about what other people think. I think that's the biggest thing. But obviously, like, that's... That's hard, that's you know, hard. to do. But for me, it just kind of comes down to realizing, like, other people are not looking at you the way you're looking at yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody's focused on their own mm -hmm. life, on their own self. And I think that you just see, because, like, for example, like, you'll be having the best day, right? When you don't know that something's a certain way, right? Like, your hair is up or your hair, you know, your makeup looks crazy, but you, you love <laughs> how you look, right? Because you have no clue of it. you feel good, yeah. And I feel like the moment you start, like, really pinpointing your insecurities like that and you get really insecure about it, your, your life just goes down a hole. Bro, that has happened to me before. Yeah. And also, when you start to compare yourself, you will be miserable. For like, the yeah. you'll never be somebody you, else. You'll never, never be them. You're never gonna look like that you're yeah. gonna look like you like obviously unless you get surgery you which, still won't look like anybody yeah else. you're still gonna like, look like you but from, like yeah. uh, you might feel better with yourself in an enhanced way but then if you only feel good only because you got a surgery like you're still gonna want more dude so this is let me tell you my take post-surgery mm -hmm. on this okay and i've had surgery too guys like i've had my nose done so oh, that's what i'm saying that. like yeah you know it doesn't mean you're gonna be happy just because you yeah. did something mm -hmm. like no it doesn't don't think that surgery is just gonna fix your problem fix all your issues no no it's not it's that internal. at all yeah because after surgery you could still find like oh i don't like this i don't like that i mm -hmm. want to now do round two because i want to look like like you'll never be happy if you're depending on a surgery mm -hmm. to give you right the your entire happiness and i think that that's the reason why I didn't want to go into a surgery till I was like fully content with myself mm -hmm. and who I was as a person, right? Because you could be upset with how, you know, your butt looks, your, your boobs look, your nose looks, however, you could be upset with that, but you could still be very in love with yourself. Yeah, I believe that too. I believe you can love yourself overall, but there might be something that you want to change. Yeah, you want to change it and something that maybe you just don't feel that happy about. But I think it's making sure that you are in love with yourself and you value yourself Overall, and you, yeah, yeah you, you're really happy with the person that you are and that's the hard place mm -hmm. to get to because surgery yeah. will not change that and sometimes like i don't know what it is i think just social media i think that gives people a lot of false like things that they think they need to look like mm -hmm. you know and i think it's all within because you will see like on tiktok right like you'll see girls who have no like are petite right they don't have boobs or butt and they're just the cutest girls but it's not their looks it's their attitude and their confidence mm. makes them so cute i think confidence makes you the cutest confidence yes you like glow. you literally i think you physically look better yeah i'm glow. not even joking no you glow yes yeah you do and i'm gonna tell you guys something i had really low confidence a few months ago i don't know why i felt like i felt so ugly right yeah. 
and I felt like I wasn't really like I don't know what it was I really don't know what it was because nothing has changed it's just been a few months my life is different now like when I tell you the other day I went to the mall there was a girl she looked at me she's like wow you're so gorgeous she literally told me this no girl has came up to me and just told me this like yeah. a random girl mm -hmm. not even a supporter like nothing mm -hmm. the next day I go to the mall again same thing happens a different girl <gasps> dude and I was like what's going on like this mm -hmm. is weird but I think I just got to the point where I really just came to terms with me ac accepted myself and you know like it's literally within you like it's yeah. the inner work that you uh -huh. do and you glow on the outside you just you walk like, the way crazy. you walk like you walk with confidence like yeah. the way that you speak to people it's like with confidence and everything changes the way you yes. literally carry yourself changes i i think it's Dude, the, the it's, thing that makes you the prettiest oh there was a a little what is it an experiment not an experiment a study, study. A study. <laughs> <laughs> there was a study where people um went out they went out and spoke to people and then they came back i think they were in a hospital setting okay and they came back and said their experience speaking to people just regular how they normally look mm -hmm. they said they had a great experience and um you know people were friendly to them and everything uh -huh. next those same people were given scars so they got makeup put on them with the scar I've on their this, face. Yeah. You've seen it? I didn't know the conclusion, but I saw the scar thing. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Tell me. I want to so know. So they went out. They spoke to people. They had a horrible experience because they <gasps> had a scar on their face. And then, listen. So after having that horrible experience, they went and got their scar touched up. And then they went out again and spoke to people again. And again, they had a horrible experience speaking to people. And people treated them badly because they had a scar on their face. Right? wrong because when they touched up the scar they actually took the scar off so they were back at square one they didn't have a scar anymore and they didn't have a good experience like they did the first time they had a bad experience it's all up here it was all mental like it's crazy what you believe is gonna happen literally is gonna happen gonna and happen. if you you know believe that you're so ugly and that nobody is gonna like you and like all of that that's what's gonna happen because that's what you're gonna be projecting outward that's crazy because you can apply that to anything to like yeah. anything like if you feel like you're never gonna make it you're never gonna make it like it's so crazy because it's all up here isn't that so crazy oh my gosh yeah your mind is so powerful girl like everyone's mind is powerful yeah. it's everything i feel like you always think of that, but mm -hmm. the fact that a study was done and it's like proven. And shows you proof. I Sometimes I need proof. I don't mean to, me too. I you need know? the reassurance. <laughs> yeah. Oh but there gosh. you have it. That Dude, is this wild. is such a good conversation. I, I know. <laughs> and it's crazy because like you're like a very, not spiritual, but like. I think you're the person who's the most connected. So I always like look to see what you, it's funny because me and Jake will always talk about that. I feel like you're very connected with kind of like everything. So whenever I'm looking for mean? something, <laughs> like you always talk about like energy and mm. like, you know, confidence. Yeah. You're like the most like, if I need like girl talk, like I'll, I'll go to your page for that. Really? Yeah, because oh, that's what that you give off. Happy. That's what okay, you give good, off. Okay, good, good, good. For me, I feel like, yeah. I, like I don't, I can't do that. Like I can't do that for people. I can't give. I can't give that. There's people who are very giving of that, like mm -hmm. very like of energy and like confidence. And I, I don't feel like I can give that to people. What do you think you can give to people? I think motivation in mm -hmm. a different way. You give me motivation. You yeah. You give me a lot of okay, motivation. Okay. Okay. And even my friend and I, even Elsie was telling me. Oh really? She was like, yeah, like I love her videos. Um, and yeah, like we we're talking about how you're always like motivating us and like I yeah. love that. Okay, see, so everyone has something different to Every, offer. Yeah, everyone has their own like special thing. We all have a kind of like a purpose, a purpose. in other people's lives, you know? Yeah. Oh yeah. We all have no, something different that. to give. How I'm looking so far. This is the makeup I so think I far. Caught up. Oh yeah, you're making really fast. fast. I you know. Too. <laughs> I don't take long. I told you, so I told her to come early, guys, because I was like, what if we take too long? Because we're filming too, so I'm And like, then I wanted to come earlier than you told me, because I was like, I don't want to be late. Like, <laughs> this is serious. Because I hate feeling rushed. I always end up, like, rushing. Perfect. I'm ready. Now we need to get dressed. I just called the Uber, and they're one minute away. This has never happened to me. Usually, they're, like, five, six minutes away. Especially when I want them to hurry. They're always, like, far. Put my earrings on. And we'll be.
out the door. I will take one. Yeah. No, thank you. Thank you. That's what happens when you have an Invisalign, guys. I'm gonna force her to eat one. <laughs> we are here. We are just chilling in the corner. There was somebody behind us listening to our entire conversation right now. Oh my gosh, you guys. We were having the most intimate conversation. <laughs> and all of a sudden, I look over and I hear something. It's Girl, like they're like preparing stuff back there. There's a whole like little area back there. <laughs> and we're all loud. But whatever. Our, our, our tea is gonna be on TikTok tomorrow. tomorrow. Oh, imagine if the video was talking. Stop. <laughs> no, it's just it's so much work, honestly. And then I'll get cavities. Okay, hold up. I need to have an oh, extra. Oh, let me wipe this room. Okay, says for us all. <laughs> all right you guys that is gonna be all for today's video we did not get to meet rafaela maya we were so sad it was the same situation that we talked about we still had fun and that's what matters the most i hope you enjoyed this video i will have nat's social media linked down below as well as my social media i love you guys i hope you have an amazing day don't forget to like comment share subscribe and i will see you in next week's video bye guys